Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from Mupai Tarot, here to do your daily collective love reading. So just keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy these daily readings. I will be here every day, Sunday through Thursday, and Thursday evenings I will do a weekend collective love reading, okay? So keep in mind these are for all signs, okay? All right, you guys, let's get started. See what the messages are going forward for you from the time you're listening. Okay, so you have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, you're in a good place here. Independent, successful, um, financially stable, feeling secure. Um, this is a card of profit, prosperity, wealth. Uh, maybe you just purchased a new property or you're thinking about that. Um, rewards. I see you receiving rewards through hard work. Coasting. I'm just, they're giving me the word coasting. Um, collecting on your investments. Thriving. This is good, okay? As far as love goes, single and independent. <clears throat> and not with anybody, okay? At this time. Just completely solo, seeking out your own pleasures. Um, not relying on anybody for anything okay this is a uh, virgo card but you've got love coming in beautiful ace of cups here okay so there's a new beginning possibly a new relationship coming up for you new romance love happiness joy possibly pregnancy socializing celebrations and ooh, you have justice so you also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Libra energy here. So um, this is karmic justice, truth and honesty, integrity, cause and effect. Okay, so it looks like your ships are coming in. Maybe that's why I said coasting, something to do. Maybe you live on the coast or there's a connection to the coast. Um, or somebody you could be connecting with who lives on the coast or you live on the coast. Okay, so... For some of you, this might be with the Ace of Cups and Justice, they're giving me like somebody's learning some kind of a lesson. Okay. There's definitely like some consequences are being played out here. This could be you or somebody else. If, if you're connected with a Virgo, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or a Libra, okay, they are, there's, they're learning there's something some kind of consequences or seeing some truth okay happening here maybe there's some legal disputes and this is like you receiving what's due and that somebody else getting some kind of a karma a karma situation here all right let's see all right okay you've got the ten of cups so this is piscean energy so hmm Looks like you're not going to be single for long. It looks like you're not going to be single for long. There's love coming in here. And you're getting... Um, it feels to me like you've paid your dues. And now you're going to be receiving an outpouring of love. And I feel like this energy is playing out through August. Um, there's a homecoming or a reunion. So somebody's coming to connect with you here. Wow. Four of Wands. It just flipped out. Yeah. Yeah. So sometime in August, maybe a birthday celebration, a wedding, um, feeling welcome, our family coming together. This is marriage. These are three marriage cards here and the Ace of Cups, actually four. So while you're single and independent and in doing what you're doing in your everyday life, you have love coming in in August sometime around the 11th. Okay. Um, wow okay so there is it's either for some of you it's somebody new or new love or it's a recommitment to an old relationship or um yeah some kind of like coming together and just happiness and joy i feel like somebody here now with the chariot and the eight of cups there's movement here there's travel here determination so I really feel like you've got somebody here maybe you're at a distance to each other or there's um, 
if you don't know this person, you've got somebody here who's coming in, definitely, um, traveling towards you. There's a lot of self-discovery, self-analysis. Um, there's also somebody here who's going on some kind of a trip in August. Um, hmm. And I'm feeling between August, the week of August 7th through the 11th, um, or at least that whole week, the 7th through the 13th, uh, somebody's coming towards you. Might be a trip planned or... or you're getting a reach out from someone let me see here what's going on overcoming some obstacles here somebody's very determined and ambitious to come towards you let's see here okay yeah pushing wow this person is coming in like pushing away the obstacles and the burdens um overcoming some kind of struggle here which is that's what the 10 is so you have two 10 cards okay wow this is this is something who is this person um well i can tell you they've been thinking about you this person has been thinking about how to make something happen how to make things come to fruition um how to seek the reward <laughs> This person is, it's kind of like contemplation, making an investment. I feel like that's what this person is doing. Um, this is Taurus energy as well. We have Sagittarius. Somebody's making an investment here. They want to cultivate and grow and nurture a connection with you. Okay. This is like an outpouring of love here. A conception, this idea. Um, I feel like because we have this reunion card for some of you this is someone who wants to get back together with you or connect with you or see you okay and for others this is a new connection that you might meet someone at a reunion or some kind of a party or some type of an event sometime in august okay more specifically like i said the week of august 7th um somebody here if this is a reconnection there's a lot of regret they may have refused love offers from you um, they were stagnant, kept you in a stalemate situation. Um, this person, a lot of remorse here. And I feel as if they're not interested in anyone else. They get love offers, but it feels like they don't have any. It's like, nah, nah. They get a lot of love offers. They get a lot of, um, they generate a lot of interest for, from others but it feels like this person is just like nah no nah, no nah. <laughs> they just turn people down or they are turning people down or they have been turning people down and i feel like it's because of you because it looks to me here as you stand here with that uh nine of pentacles like you're it's like you're in your abundance. It's like you're you're fine. You're not in a position of need. You know, if the Nine of Pentacles was in the reverse, this would be like a lack of independence, a lack of stability, um, insecure, um, a reckless type of energy. And it looks like you're standing up straight with your head held high, not in a boastful way. You're just, um, it looks like you're uh, just li living your best life and just doing what you need to do for self. And um, let me see, if this was a past thing, what happened in the past? Why did something end? Because it feels like this person wants to marry you. Oh, wow. This was a real... Okay, for those of you where this is like a reunion... I was asking why something may have ended and this is Gemini energy. One person was like, yes, one person was like, no. And it, this was such a beautiful, this was real love with the lovers. And it was so beautiful and so authentic. And there, somebody got scared. That's what I feel like. Somebody got scared. Maybe it was you. Maybe you ran away from the connection. Um, because it was just too real you know kind of like um either you or another person or both of you 
um, realized it, for some a twin flame kind of thing for some it was like this is the person somebody either wasn't ready or didn't have the strength leo energy didn't and a lot of self-doubt didn't have the strength wow it was a golden opportunity absolutely that's what this was okay and this is strictly for those of you who you know had a connection with someone here and it ended this was like the opportunity of a lifetime for love for security long term for manifestation to invest this this relationship this love was so prosperous and it, it was like it was a big decision and i feel like somebody knew it this person knew it or you both knew it and it ended yeah went into some isolation there's a lot of soul searching introspection um solitude a lot of solitude okay and the hermit energy is you know that's virgo energy this is a real strong like isolation kind of thing um reclusiveness with a lot of withdrawal uh, maybe even possibly antisocial behavior and there there was just like a lot of withdrawal in the connection and it but it it was because someone were they fear-based and they couldn't give as much they could only give a little they would like you know drop some coins in the coin bucket to you and then you would drop some in to them perhaps and like that this might be how this connection played out but you know <sighs> It feels like maybe you were connected with a Taurus for some. It feels like this person was not really capable of giving you everything. But you know what? There's remorse and regret. So if you guys are in separation, this is like, oh, damn. You, I don't know what happened specifically if you walked away or somebody walked away. But it feels like this person is, and, and maybe even you, it's like, she's. There might be some reg there's regret and remorse on their side let me see you okay you're healing you know the star aquarius energy maybe you're aquarius you know you're calm and i see that here you're renewing self rejuvenating yourself okay yeah after some kind of ending or maybe you felt like somebody stabbed you in the back or betrayed you okay or somebody was like bad mouthing or you know I just feel like you've had your collapse and your breakdown and you've had your rock bottom moment and you've surrendered to the star the universe to healing you know you're working out in your pool or you're sitting by the pool or you're somewhere by water maybe listening to this and you're getting your inspiration back and that's wonderful but this person it feels like this is an unrequited love and i feel like somebody is kicking themselves and they want to reconnect with you and really like they're ready go all the way go the distance but are you going to take somebody back here i don't know it's a tough call here because you've got um this i think you're gonna leave this person in poverty temporarily uh, i don't think you're gonna rush back I don't think you're going to rush to take some or let somebody in. Um, not right away, but I feel like you will accept the love offer um, because it's not just, I mean, I see somebody here taking action, following their heart. Okay. It's, it's, um, it's not just um, fleeting. feels like someone really puts their heart out on their sleeve and tells you this person tells you that they truly do love you they're crazy attracted to you they want to date they want to move it forward okay and um connect with you in some way come to see you they want to see you face to face okay there's the tower just flipped out yeah um everything is changing this is like going to be very sudden for you like a sudden upheaval it's going to come out of the blue these revelations somebody coming out of confusion healing some trauma okay and and this is just going to be an absolute surprise i don't think you're going to expect this this person's like definitely they've been delaying 
Uh, I don't feel like they're going to delay anymore. I feel like um, they're going to come in very fair, and I used that word before. Um, they don't want to argue, but they're very curious if you will accept them back. They watch you, this person, somehow, some way. They see you, whether it's externally or in their mind's eye. They replay things. Oh. Oh. They replay when you guys met or when you were together. Okay. Four of Swords energy. Love and rest. And maybe when you were in bed together or when you slept together. They think about that connection. Okay. It's it, not it, not exactly the the physical act, but the 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 being together, the connecting to one another, the, the quiet, the intimate, private moments together, they think about that, and this person can't seem to stop thinking about that, okay? It's on, you're on their mind, and, and hence the reason for a reunion here. For those of you meeting somebody new, with new love coming in, I feel like somebody's coming in and is like ready to, they're capable and the, and this new person is coming in and they're capable and ready and willing and motivated to um, be open to dating and, you know, having a progressive relationship. Let me see who the new person is, if I can get anything specific. Oh, <laughs> you guys. So this new person is someone you knew from before. Okay, so it feels like the overall message, we have six of cups here, this could be a Scorpio. For some of you, this, this overall message really is, it's a recommitment to love with someone from maybe even your deep, deep past when you were children, or just someone who there's memories here so there's a knowing of each other okay so i hate to break it to you but it's they might feel new to you because you guys maybe haven't seen each other in 25 years and it's like a new relationship pops up um or the reunion brings about oh, a whole new positive energy here leo energy here okay let me see what your love messages are i mean this is like craziness let me see what is the love messages here success enthusiasm openness transparency what are the love messages here okay soulmate wow yeah um this is definitely like if you think to yourself you know, whether you want to call it a twin flame or a soulmate, that's up to you. But whoever in your heart is your soulmate, that's who we're talking about here. Okay. And what do I mean by soulmate? This is your person with like, that you are meant to be in each other's lives. Um, I don't know specifically, like it's a twin flame thing. It's kind of hard for me to say. For some of you, this could be where the lessons have been learned through the twin flame separation and now you guys are coming in um, like in a soulmate energy where it's like we're healed and we're connecting and now we're, our triggers are no longer we're not triggering each other our traumas are healed because of that star don't mess with the star okay that is absolute like rejuvenation that spirituality and renewal and that's having faith where you guys are connecting on, on a level that's completely different this time okay yeah look forgiving and learning that's what i'm talking that's what the healing was putting the past behind the past putting the past in the past and healing this connection and caveat i am not speaking to those of you who have been in severely um, physically abusive relationships if you are in that and you know i want to say that if this person is still acting that way then that you know this it doesn't matter what the reading is you have to stay away do people heal from that of course they do with deep intense therapeutic actions um has this person healed from that I'm not so sure, and I think that that's going to have to be a judgment call that you make with this person, but as far as everything else, this feels to me like a forgiving and a learning from past deeds, things in the past, in order to heal 
and have more love in the present. Now let me take a look and see if I can pick up Chinese sign of this person or of you. Okay, we have someone's a year of the pig, year of the goat, year of the horse, year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the tiger. Okay, we have horse again, year of the dog, year of the dragon, and year of the snake. Okay, so if that's you, great. If it's your, your person great, or this other person, great. It might not be either of you, and that's fine. Don't worry too much about that. All right, let me get a couple of charms. Okay. So we have a cat. Oh, we have a dragon here. So that's double dragons. We have a unicorn, and I can't pick it up. We have a crown that says, oh, princess. Okay, someone, someone views you as a princess. And this cat is like really fancy, like a little bling cat. Maybe you have a cat named Princess. Okay, maybe you have a dragon named Princess. Okay, something to do. So it could be someone who's a year of the dragon or is connected to dragons in some way. Okay, whether it's medieval dragons or, I mean, what other dragons are there? Mythical dragons in some way. There's, um, yeah, there's definitely a, a, a connection to a dragon here. Okay. Um, so this princess, yeah, I feel like somebody views you. So when I say princess, I don't mean in um, gender. It's, it's not a gender thing. It's it's kind of like princess is like someone who is single, right? Um, she, princess is like a maiden, like a Cinderella before <laughs> with the Knight of Cups, Prince Charming. Um, you know, it's like the old Disney Cinderella story. So maybe you watched that. Maybe you saw that. Um, or it's a crown prince, you know, a prince, princess. It's two people who are, um, they haven't evolved yet to king and queen until they come together. Okay, so they're kind of like this nine of pentacles here that I'm seeing is like a maiden or um, like a bachelor. Two people who are single but coming together. So I feel like this person you know, wants to put a crown on your head, king and queen. Uh, a queen can't be a queen. Uh, really, she could be a queen, but she has to have a king and vice versa. Okay. Um, also unicorn. So there's something very unique and special about this connection. That's unlike any other. It's very unique. You may have felt that about this person. They feel that about you. Um, I'm just hearing somebody is saying, he or she is like no one I've ever met before. There's something different about you. Um, you're not a carbon copy of all the others. You have something very special and unique that makes you who you are, that this person in every other person that they've met or they meet as they go forward, they constantly are looking for you and they can't find you and they're kicking themselves because there you are right there. They don't know if you're going to take them back or not. And um, I think you will, but I feel like you might, you know, kind of like if they reach out, you might take your time to respond or just kind of leave them in the dark or in the cold a little bit um, with the their offer that comes in. I'm not sure why you're going to do that. I'm sure maybe you have your reasons, but I feel like at some point, like you will talk to them because you, you will pick up, I feel like a sense of healing from this person as well. And they're coming in completely like a unicorn, completely different than how they did before. Okay. So sometime, what is today? The 31st. So not this week, but next week, um, yeah, sometime the week of July 7th through the 13th, you know, I know this is a daily reading, but for some of you, this might resonate. So take what fits, leave the rest. I'm going to leave this here for you guys. I hope that you enjoy it and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.